ever find yourself like flipping through those talent shows on TV and you're kind of over the singing and dancing, wishing for something a little more, you know, dramatic? Well, picture this. A global stage where instead of belting high notes, you have thousands of actors. And we're talking Zimbabwe to Iceland, the whole world going head to head with nothing but like raw talent and a killer monologue. That's the magic of the World Monologue Games. And today we are diving deep. We'll unpack what it takes to win over those Emmy winning judges and why this whole online thing is shaking up the theater world. All right. So what's the first thing that kind of jumps out at you about these World Monologue Games? You know, it's interesting. It really flips the script on how we think of acting auditions, right? I mean, it used to be all about pounding the pavement, going to cattle calls, hoping for just a few minutes in front of the right person. World monologue games. They've changed that whole game. Yeah, it's like they build this virtual stage and suddenly anyone with Wi-Fi and a bit of that dramatic flair, they can show off their skills. No more waiting for your big break. You make the opportunity happen. Exactly. And speaking of opportunities, did you notice they've got different categories? Like you've got endurance for those actors who can hold the stage for, get this, five to eight minutes. Whoa, five to eight. I can <sighs> barely hold my attention on a good day for that long. Right. And then there's the other side, the sprint category, 60 seconds or less to like blow everyone away. Boom. Mic drop, but with drama. And it's not even just about how long you're up there. The World Monologue Games, they're embracing diversity in a way you don't always see. Their website even mentions some top contenders weren't native English speakers. Yeah, that's breaking down barriers, man. Yeah. Makes you wonder why this isn't just like the norm everywhere. Okay, but before we go too far down that rabbit hole, we got to talk about these judges. I mean, Emmy winners, big time casting directors, producers, these are the real deal. What kind of pressure do you think these actors are feeling knowing those eyes are on their every breath, every little gesture? Oh, I bet it's wild, right? That mix of like total nerves, but also so exciting. Imagine you're pouring your heart out and somewhere out there, the person who could change your whole career is watching. And it's not just about getting your name out there, is it? They mentioned on the website, like a prize pool of cash for whoever ends up on top. You think having actual money on the line changes things? Hmm. It's got to be a factor for some, right? But honestly, just from what I've seen, most of these actors, they're driven by that love of acting, you know, and right. connecting with a bigger audience. The cash is cool and all, but it's that recognition, that validation from people who get it that really matters. Totally. It's like that whole do what you love. And the money will follow. Yeah, exactly. Speaking of which, did you catch that WMG family thing they've got going on? Seems like they're building a real community around all this. And there's that WMFF acronym. Mm -hmm. World Monologue Film Festival. Ooh, like a whole festival just for monologues. That's kind of genius. Right. It makes perfect sense, though. They've already got this platform, right? So why not bring in filmmakers, too? It's like they're building this whole, I don't know, ecosystem for dramatic arts, helping everyone grow. Totally. And they even talk about offering scripts, videos, and training stuff for artists to actually improve. So it's more than just made the best monologue win. Yeah. It's about nurturing that passion for theater, you know. Exactly. Honestly, they're onto something special here. They've figured out how to bring together passionate people and give them real opportunities. And it all started with this simple idea. Give talented folks a stage, a global one, to tell their stories through monologues. Who knew something so, I don't know, specific could become such a big deal? It's the power of storytelling, man. It's universal. Everyone connects with that. doesn't matter where you're from, what language you speak. A good monologue, it just transcends all that and gets right to the heart of the matter. Absolutely. I don't know about you, but uh, all this talk has me feeling inspired. Yeah. Like, where's my old Shakespeare? Time to brush up on those monologues. Tell me about it. Something so electrifying about that idea, you know? Getting up there, being vulnerable, letting the world see you. Terrifying, but also exhilarating. Sure. So what do you think makes a monologue truly the best? What are those things you can't really teach that make it unforgettable? That's the million dollar question right there. It's that blend of like pure skill, knowing the technical stuff, but also that emotional depth. And you got to have that presence, that thing that grabs you. Yeah. Yeah. It's like they say, you just know it when you see it, you know? Exactly. And even though like they don't give you a checklist or anything, I guarantee you they want performances that are Technically amazing, but also hit you in the feels. Right. It can't just be about memorizing lines perfectly. You have to become that character, really feel the story. And then there's that it factor, right? The mm. charisma, that magnetism that makes you want to keep watching, listening to every single word. Oh, totally. Like when you're watching someone and you get that feeling. Yeah. You know, 
You're just pulled in, totally immersed in their world. Precisely. It's deeper than just watching a screen. It's like a connection is made. It's got to make you feel something, right? It could be joy, sadness, anger, even just all. And that, to me, that's the sign of a truly great performance when it stays with you, makes you feel something real. Couldn't have said it better myself. You know, it's wild how something as, I don't know, simple as a monologue, yeah. one person, their story can be so powerful. The power of a good story, man. It's timeless how we connect to human experience, you know? And the world monologue games, they've tapped into that, given it this global stage. It's pretty awesome. So what's your biggest takeaway from all this? What should our listeners really hold on to? You know, for me, it's that reminder that we all have a story. Every single one of us. We've all been through things, had our ups and downs, and we've got dreams, right? Sometimes you just need someone to give you that microphone, that stage. That's what the World Monologue Games is doing, giving voices a chance to be heard. Love that. And who knows, maybe one day we'll be watching your acceptance speech for winning the whole thing, right? <laughs> now, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> but seriously... Thanks for geeking out about online theater with us today. My pleasure. And to everyone listening, until next time, keep exploring, keep creating, and most importantly, keep sharing those stories with the world.